And our next question comes to us from Tommy in Jacksonville, Florida, who writes, is it true that different types of insects can go in our mouth or ears while we're sleeping? Thanks. So what happened while you were sleeping? You know, it can happen. However, it's much, much more common. Say you're out camping or you're sleeping on the ground somewhere. Obviously, insects may migrate into an orifice because they're, they're seeking maybe shelter, warmth, just like we do. And uh, there's a particular story of a woman who had a live spider in her ear, I guess, for five days. Five days. Imagine that. For five days, you're hanging out, and you feel a little creepy crawler hanging out inside and, your ear. What would you do? And, Travis, you've seen it in the emergency room. I've seen it in my when I was practicing ear, nose, and throat, that when somebody has something that's moving, that has legs or wings moving around inside your ear canal, your external auditory ear canal, I mean, it, it can drive you crazy. And so what happens is they crawl in, and... They end up harboring and hanging out. I mean, this is a uh, this is our friend Spider Man. <laughs> See, and this year you can there. just He's put caught. your fist in and pull him out, but but typically it's not that easy. And as a rule of thumb, if you get an insect in your ear, you feel it crawling around. What you want to do is try to slow it down, drown it, and mm -hmm. you know you can use different things. You can just use saline. You use some people like alcohol. Some people like different types of oils, but the whole idea is to drown the insect so he stops moving, and then pull your ear up and back, tilt it, and if you're lucky, that insect will come out. And here's what not to do. Go grab utensils, whatever you can find, and just start jamming it in your ear. Not so good. Leave it alone, try the technique to drown it, get it out, if that doesn't work, then you need to see a specialist to pull it out. And particularly if you do encounter something like this and you think only part of whatever the insect was came out and you have remnants potentially in your ear, go see your, your doc, go to the ER, go see an ENT, because if you leave that in there, it can cause irritation, could eventually cause your tympanic They're membrane most likely, to, to burst. Most likely they'll, they'll put you on an eardrop after that, assuming that maybe something is irritated or something left behind, it'll then come out.